So why would you ever use nipple cream on your residual limb? Let's find out. How long ago did you have this prosthesis made? In about five to ten years. And have you been doing the massaging we talked about last time? Just kind of keep that skin as mobile as possible. How yeah. long has that been there? Been, uh, that came from the motorcycle. Uh, okay. The lamp. Yeah. Gotcha. But that's been uh, about 25 years. Okay. So this gentleman just had a left transfemoral amputation about two, three months ago. He currently has a right transtibial amputation. Sometimes it's hard to get a clear, accurate history, but it was obvious that he is definitely overdue for a new prosthesis. One thing, the fit is very loose. Also, you can look and see all the cracking and wear and tear on his liner, especially see area of wear at his distal anterior tip. And then looking at his limb, you can see where he's been having a lot of pressure and that big calloused area at his distal anterior tibia. So what is a callus? Basically, it's just you got pressure, you got friction over time, and so that skin thickens in an effort to protect itself. Now, normally, you would see calluses on hands, feet, things like that, and normally it's not a problem. But for patients who have uh, diabetes or poor vascular health, it can become a problem. What we don't want to see happen is that hardened area, that callus to crack, bleed, possibly lead to infection. So please, please, please do not let anybody tell you, and I've heard this from patients, I've heard it from family members, I've heard it from therapists and other members of the healthcare team. Yeah, it's gonna hurt initially and you just gotta let that skin toughen up and you just gotta deal with it and work through it. False. First of all, if you're having pain with your prosthesis, don't just let it go. Second, if you are seeing wear and tear and discoloration in your liners, especially localized to a certain area, like we saw with his liner, that's a sign that there is an area of excessive pressure and that your socket will need to be looked at and most likely adjusted. So if you do have a callus like this gentleman, what are some things we can do? First of all, make sure you set up an appointment with your prosthetist to have the limb looked at and socket looked at to get adjusted. Second, you can prepare a warm water and baking soda bath or Epsom salt. Just make sure the limb is completely dried afterwards. And this is not suggested or recommended if you have any open wounds and or diabetic. So what I suggested to this gentleman was lanolin. You want to start, we're just putting a little bit, when you take your prosthesis off at the end of the day. And just kind of massage him into that skin. And also made sure he has some socks to wear in the meantime as we are working on getting a new socket for him. So like if you found value in this video, I hope it was helpful. Like always, leave a comment with any questions and we will be happy to answer them. There will be an upcoming video where we focus in on his evaluation and casting for his new prosthetics.